This video is about pH. More specifically, the pH of the arterial blood of the humans. So what is pH? pH as related to the physiology of the human body. pH is the concentration of the hydrogen ion. So a concentration of hydrogen ion represents the pH of the body. So there is specific formula for the pH, but the pH, the hydrogen ion concentration is related. So the concentration of hydrogen ion is also known as the pH of the human body. As in the previous lecture, I told you about that the substances, molecules that were responsible to release the hydrogen ion are known as acids, and the molecules that has the ability to accept the hydrogen ions are known as bases. So on the basis of this hydrogen ion concentration, acids, base, and pH are defined. So what is the actual definition of the pH? So pH is basically the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration. So the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration is known as pH. So it means that the pH is related to or denotes the concentration of the hydrogen ion. So this pH depends upon the concentration or the amount of the hydrogen ion present inside the human body that either they are released or they are accepted or how much uh, quantity of the hydrogen ion is present in the body as hydrogen ion is obtained by different metabolic processes of the human body. As you take up the food, then by passing through the digestive system, they goes to the blood circulation. Through blood circulation, they are taken up to their targeted sites and um, uh, to the cells. So where their specific metabolism takes place. So hydrogen ion concentration, that how much hydrogen ion are present in the body, they will be responsible for the formation of the pH. So simply the pH indicates the con concentration of hydrogen ion inside the human body. So how the hydrogen ion is related to the pH, how you will know about the pH by knowing the concentration of the hydrogen ion. So it's simple. If the hydrogen ion concentration, just by simply calculating or finding out the hydrogen concentration, you would know about the pH of the uh, body. So if the hydrogen ion concentration is high in the human body, then it will lead if the high concentration or the high amount of hydrogen ion, if they are present inside the human blood, then it indicates that the pH is low. So the high hydrogen ion concentration tends to decrease the pH. So increase in hydrogen ion concentration, it leads to or it tends to cause the decrease in the pH. And this condition, if the pH is low, like the normal or the neutral pH is seven, so if the pH is low, like increase amount of the hydrogen ion in the body, then it means that there is low pH and it this condition is known as acidosis. So acidosis, as um, in the previous lecture, I told you about the definition of the acids in, in terms of the physiology, that acids are those substances that releases the hydrogen ions or they are the hydrogen donors. So increased concentration of hydrogen ion, it means that low pH and this condition is known as acidosis. So in acidosis, there will be the increased concentration of the hydrogen ion. Now let's see the other, if the, the other condition that if the hydrogen ion concentration in the human body is low, if there is decreased hydrogen ion concentration, it tends to have the increased pH. So increased pH and decrease hydrogen ion concentration. So it means that the decrease in hydrogen ion concentration may be caused by uh, some mechanisms like they are regulated by the compensatory mechanisms or they're taken up by the bases. As, we, as in the previous lecture, I told you about the bases are those substances that has the ability to accept the hydrogen ion. So if they are taken up by the bases or the bases that will neutralize or cause the hemostasis of the environment. So it tends to increase the pH. So if there is severe loss of hydrogen ion or very decrease in the hydrogen ions, then the normally it is required as to maintain the balance and hemostasis both must be in balance, like the production of hydrogen ions and decrease in hydrogen ions, they must be in balance. But if there is a severe decrease or the hydrogen is decreased from the normal range, then it will cause to the increase of pH 
above their normal range. So decrease in hydrogen ion concentration, they tends to cause the increase in the pH. So this condition that causes the increase in pH above their normal range, then it is known as alkalosis. So alkalosis in which the hydrogen ion concentration is low and that tends to cause the increased level of pH from their normal value from the normal range and this condition is known as alkalosis. So because of the pH um, deviations from their normal range, it will lead to the acidosis and alkalosis and that depends upon the concentration of the hydrogen ion. As in the previous lecture, I told you about the sources of hydrogen ion that basically from where this hydrogen ion comes. So uh, as we are talking about the acidosis and alkalosis, so what is the normal range or what is the normal limit for the hydrogen ion concentration? So the, for the healthy person, the pH of the blood, it varies between the um, 7.38 to 7.42. So this is the normal range as this is the pH meter or the pH scale as we are talking about the pH, it indicates in the physiology of the human body or for the healthy human, as we say, the basically the pH, uh, it has the values, it range from zero to 14. So these are basically calculated numerically or um, as in, we have seen the formula. So it has the values from zero to 14. So it's from zero to one, it indicates the acidic environment and seven is the neutral as water is the neutral. And from eight to 14, it indicates the alkaline environment. So for the healthy person, the blood pH, it ranges between the 7.38 to 7.42. This is the normal range as I, I, I'm talking about that if the pH must be in the this normal range or the hydrogen ion concentration must be varied between this normal range. That hydrogen ion concentration is possible for the generation of the pH for the formation of the pH. So this pH as it must be the normal range is the 7.38 to uh, 7.45. So if the pH is below that range, like 7.3, then this condition is known as acidosis. As the pH is decreased or the hydrogen ion concentration is increased, then it, this condition is known as acidosis. And if the pH is above that range, as I told you, the normal range, 7.3 to 7.45, and if it is above that range, like 7.45, then this condition leads to the alkalosis, then it will be known as alkalosis. So the body must maintain the normal pH range for the hemostasis and for all the physiological activities and to maintain the organs and systems properly working in their specific environment, it must be in their normal range. So there are often slight deviations occurs in the human body. So what are these slight deviations? If there is the minimum acidosis and alkalosis the body can maintain, or can bear these minimum uh, slight variations. So for these slight variations, there is specific range. Okay, now let's start again, that I told you about the normal range, the human body pH normal range in the human blood is the 7.35 to 7.45. This is the normal range as seven is the neutral, but 7.35 to 7.45, this is the normal range. So hydrogen ion concentration must be managed in, this, in these amounts. So if it, it is below 7.3 on the pH scale, as I told you, pH scale varies from zero to 14. So if it is below this 7.3, then it leads to acidosis. And if it is above 7.4, it leads to alkalosis. So acidosis means there is increased concentration of hydrogen ion and alkalosis, it means there is decreased concentration of hydrogen ion. So the body can resist or can bear the minute changes. If it leads to acidosis, there are some compensatory mechanisms in the human body and the organs, as I told you, lungs, kidneys, and these, these will uh, um, try to manage this uh, acidosis and will try to maintain the hemostasis of the human body. Similarly, if it, the hydrogen ion concentration is decreased and it leads to alkalosis, the body can maintain or can bear some minute variations and will try the to maintain the hemostasis of the body. So for these acidosis and alkalosis, there is a specific range 
uh, in which the human body can survive or can perform their normal physiological functions. So the survival range, this is known as the survival range. So this is 6.8 to 8.0. So the 6.8 to 8.0 pH, this is the pH, like the pH from the 6.8 to 8.0, this concentration or this pH is known as the survival range or it indicates the concentration of the hydrogen ion. So body can bear the acidosis up to the limit of 6.8 and can bear the pH of alkalosis till 8.0. So this is the survival range. If the body goes to the acid, this much acidic level, then it can survive and it, it will try to normalize or compensate this acidic environment towards the normal. And if it leads to 8.0 like alkalosis, it still can survive and will try to manage and bring the body into their normal hemostatic environment. So this 6.8 to 8.0 is known as the survival range. And if it is below 8.6, if the pH goes beyond like below 8.6, like the hydrogen, there is increased concentration of the hydrogen ion and the body is not able to manage or bring them into normal hemostatic environment, then below 6.8. And if it is above 8.0, like from above 8.0 and uh, increase decrease concentration of hydrogen ion in the body is not able to bring them into the hemostatic environment then below 6.8 and above 8.0 pH of the human body it leads to the death then below 6.8 and above 8.0 the it will eventually lead to the death of the patient so the survival is not possible for the pH ranges will be below from 6.8 to 8.0 and above 8.0, the patient will not survive. So this is the normal range 6.8 to 8.0. So for the determination of these hydrogen ion concentration and the pH of the human body that for to maintain in the normal range and to the survival range, um, there is a specific test that is known as ABG, like arterial blood gases. In arterial blood gases for the patient or for the human body, uh, the hydrogen ion concentration, the bicarbonate concentration and the carbon dioxide, uh, um, like pulmonary carbon dioxide concentration are determined. And then they tell us about the um, acid-base balance of the human body. And then they try to manage the pH within the survival range and within the normal range because uh, the ABG's results tells about if there is slight variations, like uh, the pH is not tends to be less than 6.8 and more than 8.0 because at this level, it will lead to the death of the patient. So they try to maintain the level of the pH to be in the survival range and to bring them into the normal to maintain the uh, for the normal functioning, physiological functioning of the different systems and organs of the human body.